Hi guys, Michael here. So today I want to talk to you on how to clean the dirt bin area, how to clean the dirt bin and how to clean the brush and brush compartment uh, on your Nito vacuum cleaner. Okay, this is an XV Signature Pro model, but the steps will apply to Bodvac and Bodvac D series as well as connected. Okay, the shape may vary, but the steps will be exactly the same. So let's dive into it. And what you'd need originally is um, some kind of a filter if you have one. If not, you can use the old one that's already there, but I definitely recommend changing those um, every now and then. For me it's something in between maybe two three months. Uh, so this is a high performance filter that you can purchase online um, in packs of four, eight or twelve. Then I also have this cleaning tool. Uh, depending on the model that may come with your model or, or not. Um, this is nice because it has a small knife here for cutting um, for cutting hair from the brush as well as the combs for cleaning and the filter itself. So that's pretty handy. Uh, but you can also use some other tools um, at your home and to, to do that. Also some kind of a cloth. And, and then if you have a normal vacuum cleaner, that will be perfect because you can make it all much quicker. So what you do normally, you just kind of open the, the dirt bin compartment. Um, and as you can see there's quite a lot of debris there so I will have to clean that later on at some stage but up here you will see the compartment so there may be some debris um, stuck in here so what I do is I would use the vacuum cleaner to clean that so let me do it just now so once you're done cleaning the dirt bin compartment yeah I would definitely recommend cleaning the the dirt bin and replacing the filter so let me just do it and I will be back with you okay guys so I'm back with the cleaned dirt bin so it's not perfect but it's good enough for me I make sure as well that this gasket is it's relatively clean there is no any damage on it and then you'd be putting a new filter or maybe the old one. So this is how it looks, the old one. Mm, I definitely wouldn't recommend washing those, okay? There is a chance of them not being dried properly and then some water or moisture will get to the engine and you may get some error messages and the engine will, will fail to work. Um, so once you install those, I will just show how to install it. There is a small latch here. And you have a click, you hear the click, and then you just put it back in. So you hook it up here and, it, and push it down. And then you can see actually the sensor up here. So this would be this would be responsible for making sure that the dirt bin is in place. So if you remove the dirt bin, you may get an alert message. So when you push it properly, make sure that it's in place there and the sensor is pushed in. So what you do next, we'll just have a look at the brush itself. So the brush compartment, um, as you can see, there is this brush guard that we have to remove first. So here near the wheels, there are kind of small kind of latching system uh, from left and right. So you, ju you just have to push it and push it out like this. And it's kind of removed. So as you can see, there is a little bit of uh, dirt here. I will just clean that. Okay, that's done. There's not really much to clean up here, so we'll just straight away dive into the brush itself. So when, as you can see, uh, depending on the model for the XV series, there will be a belt on the left side. For the Bodvac, Bodvac D series and connected, there is a better system uh, that would actually uh, make sure that the removal of the brush is much easier. Uh, this may be a little bit harder to do, but anyway, it's not that hard. And as you can see, there is some kind of a plastic here stuck and quite a lot of hair. So I will just show you how to, how to clean that. So first of all, we'll remove that brush. So we just push it from the right side and we gently kind of take off this belt 
and just remove the whole thing. So what I will do before cleaning that, I will just clean the compartment itself. So again, I would use a normal vacuum and let's do it. Okay, so once that's done, we're left with brush itself. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of hair clogged in um, here and there is also and uh, there was some kind of a plastic, you know, so I definitely recommend cleaning those and every maybe one or two uh, cleaning cycles, depending on how much hair you have, maybe you have some pads. In that case, I'd recommend cleaning it quite often as this hair will be stuck and may be giving you some kind of error messages. Also, if the um, hair gets stuck in the end cups, in the bearings, it may kind of heat up and melt some parts in the corner so it may damage your needle and um, so with the end cups as you can see you can remove those end cups here and i don't know if the camera can see it but yeah just double check that there is no hair there is a little bit of hair here so we'll clean that um, and another end cup on this side so definitely cleaning those i'll just go ahead clean it and i'll be right back Okay guys, I'm back with the brush. This is how it looks like. It's relatively clean. I'm happy with it. There are a little bit of kind of debris, so if you'd like, we can use the vacuum cleaner. If you want to be really pedantic like myself, yeah, you can give it a go with that. And then again, you can use this um, cleaning tool to kind of cut the hair. That's what I did under the bin. Okay, um, so this is a combo brush, so we'll just put it back again, so when you see the belt, that sometimes may be flimsy, so what I would advise is put first, first on this kind of uh, latch here where uh, the, oh, sorry, where the end cup or the bearing is, and then kind of spin it and keep that belt on the teeth on the gears here and then just put it right in back again so you can see left right is fitting perfectly just make sure that it's spinning relatively freely there should be a little bit of resistance but not much um, yeah and it should be spinning nicely so once that's done we have our uh, brush guard we just kind of put it against here the latches as you can see I will just turn it like that and then drop it down and lock left and right side should hear a small click and then what to make sure is that when you look at the line here the brush guard is fully in so sometimes what may happen is that you will latch this but here the brush guard one of those latching systems isn't in fully so better to start from this side first and then push it in and it's locked okay uh, guys that will be it thanks for watching i really appreciate it uh, please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions post them down below thanks for watching take care bye